briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The ruling stood on precedent set by previous Georgia cases, which indicates that children as old as Stephen are capable of appreciating certain obvious dangers, such as the risk associated with climbing or jumping from a height. In this case, the danger was the act of climbing on an elevated structure designed for toddlers and the potential for falls from this height. The case drew criticism, and some judges even dissented. One argument was hinged on a comparison with an earlier case, Atlanta Affordable Housing Fund Limited Partnership v. Brown. This case involved a child being struck by a truck. The dissenting judges argued that the child might not have understood the danger she faced, dramatically different from Stephen knowingly climbing a structure not meant for his age group. However, the court ruled that these two cases were far too different for a comparison to be drawn. The majority of the judges upheld the granting of summary judgment, concluding that Stephen willingly assumed the risk of injury by climbing the infant maze. Overall, the court affirmed the lower court's decision. Landscape Structures, Inc., having met the burden of proof for the affirmative defense of assumption of risk, was not liable for the injury. A careful examination of the evidence established that Stephen understood and voluntarily accepted the risk intrinsic to climbing an elevated structure. His reckless behavior, not the playground manufacturer, was to blame for his injuries. Thus, the court concluded that it was not a mistake to dismiss the jury's instruction on assumption of the risk. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.